Hello again. Uh, this is just a video about a little tip that I had an idea for uh, a couple of weeks ago and I uh, had a play about with the idea and I think it's time now to pass it on because it actually works very, very well. Um, first thing that you're going to have to do if you, if you want to follow up on this is you're going to have to buy yourself uh, one or two of these. Uh, this is what's called a parafocalizing ring. Um, basically, it's a, it's a 1.25 inch ring with uh, just a couple of grub screws in the sides of it. Now, the idea behind these is that if you take an eyepiece and you slide that ring onto the eyepiece like so, you you focus the eyepiece using an in and out movement instead of using your focuser and then tighten up the grub screws so that, that eyepiece then will always go in your focuser at the, the same distance. And the idea is that you put it on a couple of eyepieces and it, it gives you what they call parafocal eyepieces which means that you don't have to adjust focus between swapping eyepieces over. But the idea that I had was if you take uh, your webcam, your, your SPC 900, and you put it into your into your focuser, sometimes it's really, really hard to find some of the smaller objects. So the idea that I had was if, if we imagine that this is, is your focuser in your telescope, and you've got... Uh, your webcam, well here we've just got an adapter to, to demonstrate if you put your adapter into your focuser as far as it will go because they, they usually have a ridge around them at some point so if you put your, if you put it into your focuser like I said as far as it will go and fasten up and then turn over to sort of the moon you know a nice bright object or even Jupiter um, and focus up your webcam as well as you possibly can you know get it really in sharp focus then the next thing you do is lock your focuser at that point. Then what you do is you take your camera out and you take a, a, an eyepiece that's of a similar focal length to, to the, the camera, which most people agree that the, the Philips webcams, the, they're equivalent to about a 6mm eyepiece. Uh, and I just happen to have a cheap 10mm um, hanging about somewhere. So what you do, that focuser is now locked. Don't alter your focuser, but put a parafocalizing ring onto this eyepiece and put it into the into the focuser and then slide the eyepiece in and out until you achieve a pin sharp focus with the eyepiece and you move the ring then so that, that butts up against your focuser and it won't move any further and tighten up your, your little allen grub screws now you'll have to have a couple of goals at it to, to get it exact but when you do um, it, it, it's a really useful tool because if you've got a really small object there's nothing worse than being having to look at a, a webcam a picture on your on your laptop and you're struggling to find this 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 little item and it just helps you if you can if you can like take the camera out and stick an eyepiece in and you know that you're not going to lose any, your focus it just helps you a, a real lot and it's, it's just a little useful tip that I thought I'd pass on um, and that's about it really. It'll cost you about £2.50 for, for one of these parafocalizing rings. They usually come in packs of five, but if you have a hum if you have a hunt around, you'll probably find, you know, the odd one or two going quite cheap. And that's about it really. But um, like I say, it, it, it really worked for me. And once again, thanks for watching.